What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out a brand new update for one of its best applications called One Hand Operation Plus. As you all know, this application enables us to execute some actions using swipe gestures from the right edge of the screen or from the left edge of the screen. Now this app has got a brand new update which adds a couple of new features. As you can see, the size is about 7.98 MB and the version number is 6.8.27.0. This is the latest version and in the change log it says move vibration settings to gesture settings, add quick vibration settings, add new action modes and a couple of bug fixes as well, fixed issue with animation included when capturing screen, bug fixes and stability improvements. Now let's go ahead and take a look at all these changes. The first one is move vibration settings to gesture settings. Now let me open the one hand operation plus application as you can see this is the page you will see. Uh, the first toggle is to turn on OHO plus and then we've got left handle and right handle then we have advanced settings and gesture settings. Now here let me tap on gesture settings. Now as you can see under gesture settings in the bottom we've got vibration settings here. Now these vibration settings were available on the first page itself and now these settings have been moved to gesture settings and also it gets a brand new toggle here. Uh, the second change lock says added quick vibration settings. As you can see, we've got a brand new toggle here which says quick vibration, vibrate immediately when a gesture is recognized instead of uh, waiting until you release your finger from the screen. Now you can enable this particular settings if you want. What this does is it's going to vibrate immediately when, you're, when a gesture is recognized and it doesn't wait for you to release your finger. Before that, it just vibrates so that, uh, you know, you will know you have executed a particular action with swipe gesture. Now that's the brand new toggle we have got under vibration settings and uh, the whole vibration settings have been moved to gesture settings. These are the two new changes we have got with this update. Now let's see the new feature which have been added. Let me get back to the change log again. It says add new action modes. Now we've got a brand new option modes which can be set for any swipe gestures. Let me show you where exactly this is. Let me open the application. Now uh, we can set the uh, actions for any of these left handle or right handle. Now let me tap on right handle. Now here for diagonal down I have selected modes already. Let me just tap on this. Let me show you uh, the modes option. As you can see these are the actions which we can uh, set. Now if you scroll down you will see this brand new option modes. Now I've selected this for a uh, swipe down from the right side. Now let me just swipe down and show you how it works. As you can see, we have got modes appearing right here. We have got this pop-up which shows the modes which have been already created on my phone. Now I've got two modes enabled on the phone or uh, two modes which I have set. One is sleeping mode and driving mode. This is under modes and routines that you're going to set all these modes. And whichever modes that you're going to set will appear when you execute a particular one hand operation plus action. If at all you have set it for a particular swipe gesture. Now let me first show you where are these modes. Let me go to these settings. Here we have got modes and routines. Now this is where we create a mode. By default you will see some of the modes here. You can activate them or you can create your own mode. And these created modes will show up on One Hand Operation Plus as well. Whenever you execute a particular action which is set using One Hand Operation Plus application, uh, you will be able to see the modes that you have created on the phone. Now that is a brand new feature which has been added by this all new update for One Hand Operation Plus application. That's all I want to share with you guys. Let me know whether you have received this update or not. And if you're interested in this particular wallpaper I have left a link for that in the description you can go ahead and check it out and uh, download it if you're interested and I also have left a couple of links for the widgets uh, if you're interested you can download them as well uh, you need the KWGT Pro application to install these widgets so be wary of that if you are a pro KWGT user you'll be able to set these uh, packs the links for these widgets are available in the description go ahead and check that out that's about it we are inching closer to 100k subscribers without your support this is not possible so go ahead hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community and give this video a like if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.